All right, let's get into some uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Got a new album out. Their second one of the year. Um, Return of the Dream Canteen. The one they just put out was, yeah, Unlimited Love. Uh, first, first album with John Frusciante. I don't know how you say that. I don't know if that's how you say it, but like Frusciante. He's back. He was back after like a what ten year hiatus, almost something like that. So he's back in the group. Widely considered one of the greatest uh, living guitarists out today, and a huge uh, reason for their sound and some of their most popular songs. So I guess the energy was crazy because they just recorded a massive amounts of songs. And um, this is the second half of some of those recordings. Not to say it's the B side. They said that they purposely set out to basically split up songs into this kind of two album format anyway. So let's check it out. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Return of the Dream Canteen. Well, side note, I am. Um, like I said, I wasn't always that big of a rock fan, but as the years went on, I grew to appreciate it more. And uh, I distinctly remember my like 10th grade teacher absolutely loving them and playing uh, Snow, Hail all of the time. And I ain't gonna lie. It was catchy and I, and I got caught on. And uh, I mean, I had obviously heard songs from them before, but I was not actively going out to find and listen to them. But after that, I definitely actively went out and like discovered more of their uh, discography. When I say get went out, I'm talking about in what bear share. We don't things that we do not speak about these days, but um, yeah. And then when I found out that uh. George Clinton actually produced, executive produced. Um, I want to say it was either their first album or second album, one of them. It made me even more of a fan and appreciate them even more because George Clinton is the motherfucking man. So let's just get into it. Return of the Dream Canteen. <laughs> Musically, like really considering and like thinking of them as a band, like the musicians that they have playing in it, they're all pretty filthy. Flea is filthy. John is absolutely filthy and Chad is filthy as well. So it's no surprise that they're still as tight as ever. Like it's definitely, um, just that classic uh, Chili Pepper sound. When I think of like West Coast rock and the sound of what West Coast rock is, it's, it's something like this. Give- oh, super funky. Super them feeling that one. Uh, let's just bounce around. Make as fuck. You can absolutely tell how much they were fans of like Funkadelic Parliament and whole P Funk. Like, if you're not familiar with them, you definitely, if you like Red Hot Chili Peppers and you're not familiar with like Fuck It Up and P-Funk, you absolutely need to go back and give them a listen. on that one uh let's go back to eddie uh 
Pretty sure this is a tribute to uh, Eddie Van Halen. Definitely sounds like um, an intro to one of their older songs. And I cannot think of the name right now. But if you know, let me know. Speaking about the 80s and the A3, um, ninety-nine percent sure this is my It's cool. It's a long song, six minutes, quite long. This whole album is. I mean, it's kind of what they're known for. Also, they put everything into it. What else we want to go? Um, <laughs> on that one. Um, Go to the one that short song there, three minute and fifty-seven second uh long song. La 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 whatever. Red out sleep peppers. Alright. So interesting. Uh let's do one more. Carry me home. It's what I expected, but in a good way. my favorite one so far out of all the ones we we've uh listened to definitely uh carry me home my favorite one right now the guitar just disgusting all right um i think it's enough of this one for now i'm definitely gonna go back and give this a good uh one or two go or for sure but like i said um the second album of the year from like one uh, big session, as you can tell. And it's uh, the first album that came out earlier this year, I think around April. It was the the return of John. John Rushante, uh, guitar extraordinaire. And uh, you can tell they were just having to have like a really good time creating music together again, all together again. And um, so this is just classic red hot chili peppers um in the best way possible like i mean we haven't we don't get that much music from them over the last you know recent years and recent times especially now with all of them like the full lineup together so wow you know it can be kind of a negative to say like you know, it's classic Red Hot. It sounds like Red Hot Chili Peppers. It sounds what you expect. But again, we haven't gotten that much from them in, you know, recent years, especially with John in it. So to be able to get this and have it feel like you want it to feel, I think is an absolute win in my book. And it's exactly what I want from them when they get back together. They're just filthy musicians like on their own individually, they are masterful from Flea to Chad to John. And when they come together, they just make great music. That's why they've been doing this for so long. And uh, that's exactly what I wanted to hear from them. That's exactly what we got. Um, yeah, classic Chili Peppers, great album. <laughs>